Okay, so we want to use uh, Renderman and Aces here in Solaris and Houdini. And to check here what we have here at the moment, let's go here and right click on this icon here and say color correction. I can see directly here by default, I don't have Aces set up here for, uh, for this workflow. So we need to go in and edit some environment variables and add an OCIO file so we can see here what happens. Yeah, so if you have Renderman installed and going here to your program file, Pixar, Renderman Pro Server, in my case, 24.4 and say lib and inside lib, we have OCIO. And I'm going to take this ACES 1.2 and copy this and paste it somewhere else on my hard drive and do an environment variable pointing to this config OCIO file here. Okay, so I copied that uh, path there uh, to my C drive and it's living here uh, in the same uh, configuration as on the Renderman install. So let's go down here to my search bar and search for environment, edit system environment variables. And this is a place where we can add environment variables that's picked up by programs. So we want to do here to define a variable. In my case, you can see here, I already had one, but I, I commented out by saying OCIO out uh, because that's going to be an illegal name. So uh, if you do this uh, and you don't have an environment variable already, you say new and then you type OCIO and that is the environment variable that uh, Houdini and Solaris will uh, look for. And va variable value, you're gonna browse for a file here. And we're gonna take this uh, on my ACES 1.2 here and go to my config and say open. And you're gonna see here, you're gonna point to this path and we're gonna say okay. So now we see here we have OCIO and it points to this path. And I'm gonna see it okay and okay. And let's reopen the uh, Houdini and look at Solaris, how the menu looks like after this. Yeah, so we can see here now we have a drop down here instead of uh, the Gamma 2.2 uh, and all of that that was before. So we can see here we in Aces and we can see here for what viewport. So we have uh, from the Renderman one, we have uh, the cut down OCIO that is more uh, user friendly for the most common workflows, SRGB, Rex and Vine. And then you have raw and log and rec 2020. Okay, so yeah, that's kind of how you set up a custom OCIO and it picks up by default here if you point to the OCIO file. And as I'm using Renderman and Aces, uh, I'm just uh, taking the, the 1.2 Aces config in my case. But if you're in a pipeline, you might have a totally different configuration and have a, a, probably a bit more different LUTs and, and workflows that you your pipeline require. But uh, here at home, this is what I use uh, for my studio. Mm -hmm.